Hi, I'm Matthias Heinrich from the University of Lübeck, and in this short presentation, I would like to introduce my work on rethinking the design of learning-based interpatient registration using deformable supervoxels. The code and data for this work are publicly available on our GitHub Multimodal Learning. The vast amount of current research towards medical imaging aims at segmenting individual medical scans, meaning a pixel-wise classification. But image registration is quite different. It requires us to estimate a 3D deformation field, a regression across multiple scans, usually two. So while straightforward, just concatenating two images and swapping across entropy with a spatial transformer loss is usually not sufficient, especially when we're not considering conventional pre-alignment a fine or rigid. So in this work, we present a very different idea and propose to solve registration by segmentation, but without using any anatomical expert labels, but in a self-supervised fashion. To leverage segmentation pipelines, we need some sort of integer encoding of the spatial coordinates that we have obtained once we um, registered all the images into a canonical space. So finding a good compromise between two large number of classes and spatial precision is quite important. We used the 3D slick supervoxel algorithm and apply it to the template, but found that we need multiple layers of this supervoxel representation to really capture smaller um, differences in spatial location. And this idea is borrowed from my previous IPMI paper. For self-supervision, we employ an unsupervised conventional registration method, DEETS, um, with the mind similarity. And the displacements are then just used to warp all these template supervoxels to our training database. Now we can just employ any segmentation pipeline to predict these integer encodings of spatial canonical coordinates. We opt for the deep lab implement a 3D backbone using the mobile net v2 with depth separable convolutions, inverted residuals, um, and this very big internal expansion of channel width. Combined with 3D true spatial pyramid pooling that captures spatial context. And in the end, we of course need a multi-head supervoxel prediction because we have 16 different layers, um, all of which have uh, um, 128 classes. An example of the CNM predicted over segmentation is seen here. And once we have this pixel classification for each individual case, we still need some post-processing to obtain the actual deformation field. And for this, we uh, use an iterative optimization approach. We consider all the supervoxel centers that were estimated as a 3D key point graph and maximize the alignment of their segmentations um, and also deformation smoothness. We can just use one hot representation of this and the spatial transformer loss and afterwards extrapolate the field using the template splines. Mm, the main code for this is actually quite simple, as you can see. We evaluated our approach in a challenging data set of abdominal CT scans from different patients. And as you can already see from this overlays before registration, there's quite some complex large deformations that have been very well recovered using our new algorithm. We can also evaluate this more quantitatively by applying the warp to expert segmentations and measuring the overlap on the other images. And already from this visual fly-through, we can see that this has a very good quality and the detailed numbers are in this table and in the paper. But just to highlight, when we swap out the unit with our deep lab, we increased the accuracy by about seven percentage points. And crucially, our super voxel based over segmentation, this quite new approach to registration, is 15 percentage points better than a straightforward regression. Slick also outperforms PDDNet, which um, obtained state of the art performance in the recent Learn Direct challenge by about 9 percentage points. To conclude, we have presented a modular design that lets us leverage any segmentation pipeline for registration and for example, the known unit might even perform much better. We propose a novel solution to get this integer encoding of spatial coordinates in a canonical space using multiple layers of supervoxels. 
And we can employ any um, conventional or learning-based framework for self-supervision without any expert annotations. We achieve superior registration quality without the need of linear or rigid pre-alignment. So far, we have only evaluated this for group-wise registration, and the two-step approach can see be seen as some limitation because we still need to run Adam, which requires about 0.8 seconds. More details are, can also be found in the GitHub page. And if you want to beat us, please join the Learn to Rec Grand Challenge. That is a Mika workshop in this year. And I'm also looking forward to more discussion in the live session or at the poster. Thank you very much.